Hey, this is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist with this week's Market Update. You know, back in the day when I conducted training seminars for my fellow advisors at Merrill Lynch, I initiated every meeting with the same question. Why are there unexpected moves in the financial markets? And they would reply, as you would expect, with many obvious and creative reasons, but nonetheless, wrong. The reason there are unexpected moves in the financial markets is simply because they are unexpected. Everything that's already known is already priced in. So on Monday, following last week's record highs, the market did the unexpected and declined 3% across the globe. While investors scratched their head, the media immediately came up with an explanation and blamed the whole mess on the Delta variant. Of course, if this were the case, why did the markets recover Monday's losses and close higher on the week? Did we resolve the spread of the virus in 24 hours? I guess we'll never know since the media never mentioned it again and moved on to what was expected, and that would be record earnings. One company after another has beaten their estimates on both the top and bottom lines. So far, we have better than 90% of companies besting estimates way above the usual average of 70%. Stock prices, as I always remind you, are slaves to earnings. It's the profit performance of companies that drive stock prices higher. Stock prices tend to fluctuate around fair value over time, while volatility, especially excess volatility, is always temporary, always transitory, and as we experienced this past Monday, unexpected. How you react to volatility lies at the heart of your success as an investor. Since volatility is unpredictable, it is something to be embraced and not feared. You see, volatility creates opportunity, and opportunity creates return. Now, the rational investor uses volatility to rebalance their portfolio from the overvalued to the undervalued asset class in their portfolio. Most investors, however, allow their portfolios to drift with the whims of the market. So just as in Aesop's fables, we want to be the rebalancing tortoise who beats the undisciplined hare. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, is my advisor allowing my portfolio to drift with the whims of the market? Is my portfolio approaching the danger zone of maximum risks at one of the most vulnerable periods in market history? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? You know, my son Ryan and I have a combined 70 years of the industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal based portfolios. All you have to do to get your second opinion is simply text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692, or just simply call 844 PLAN NYC. That's 844 844- P-L-A-N-N-Y-C.